What is your message to those people who want to go and protest, who will inevitably break social distancing rules to do so, and also the small number of people who are content on doing damage and disruption? Well, what, what I would say to uh, everybody thinking about this issue is I totally understand why people feel outraged, certainly, about what happened in, in Minnesota and uh, 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 the death of George Floyd. Everybody understands people's legitimate right to protest against uh, discrimination, against racism in our society. And I, I think this is a country that has made huge progress in tackling racism. And, you know, we should look sometimes at the positive stuff. You know, we've got more uh, young black and uh, minority ethnic kids going to university than ever before, more black kids doing the toughest subjects in school, doing better than ever before in school. We don't hear enough of this positive stuff. And what makes me sad about what's happening today is that you've got a situation in which the, the statue of, of Winston Churchill, who is a national hero, has had to be boarded up uh, for fear of violent attack. And that, to me, is both absurd and, and wrong. You, sh you should not have a situation in which people who uh, are protesting on, for, on, one, on one basis are, are violently attacking the police or public property. And I'm afraid what's happened with these, these demonstrations is that a tiny minority, or actually a growing minority, unfortunately, have hijacked them and uh, they are using them as a pretext to uh, attack the police, to, uh, to cause violence and to cause damage to, to public property. So my, unfortunately my message to everybody uh, is that for all sorts of reasons uh, they should not go uh, to these demonstrations and, and whatever our feelings about the cause uh, we should not uh, support a demonstration that is in all probability uh, looking at what's happened before going to end in deliberate and calculated violence. So I'm afraid that is, that is my message. But we will continue to make progress as a society in tackling racism, because that, and that's, that, and that is the substance of the issue. And a very good question on the, those that do commit destruction, that do commit violence. Lots of people watched what happened last week and were appalled by what they saw and didn't feel like the authorities came down hard enough on those people. So what are you going to do if people do commit disruption damage well, this weekend? Are you going to do anything extra, anything more police-wise or with the courts to make sure those people are brought to justice? Well, the, I, I saw the police this morning and uh, they've already made hundreds of arrests in, uh, in the last few, uh, few days uh, and they will make many more because Believe me, they, are, they can see the culprits. The culprits may think that they've got away with it, but they haven't, because uh, overwhelmingly they are being recorded with, with body-worn uh, camera. And we will bring them to justice, and they will face the full force of the law. It is not acceptable in this country to attack a police officer. It is not acceptable uh, to set out in a calculated way to do damage uh, to uh, public property, let alone to uh, a statue of Winston Churchill. So, uh, that is the approach we will take.